Update. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update to my tech tip from yesterday. Now I spent most of the day experimenting with the Droid Cam app on my old smartphone and the Droid Cam desktop client on my computer. And a couple of things. One, um, the video quality was excellent. Um, I found that the, um, the camera on my old smartphone worked uh, exceptionally well. I also experimented using the camera in my um, Samsung um, S10 Plus, and that was even better. Um, but very, very good um, camera quality, a little bit better lighting. One thing I noticed is that the framing is a little different going from this, uh, the webcam camera to the smartphone camera. So I had to play with the position of the smartphone to get a good frame and, and lighting and all that. But once I had um, sorted that out, it, the quality was very good. The one thing I will say, and I'm a little disappointed with, is the Droid Cam app on my smartphone had some kind of background task running all day and it completely depleted my battery in no time, even when I wasn't using it. I just had the smartphone sitting on the desk next to me. And uh, you know, halfway through the day, my, my battery was completely shot. So I'm not so happy about that. Uh, I probably would not recommend using Droid Cam for that reason. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna experiment with Erian, which was the alternative. That's the version that works on both Mac and PC, and it'll work on iPhone and Android. So I'm going to experiment with using Erian and see if I have a better experience. And I'll definitely um, do an update video once I do that. But thus far, you know, the functionality of Droid Cam was great. Um, the issue is that it just completely burned through my battery, which isn't going to work. Even when it was plugged in, it cranked through the battery and, and the phone shut down. Um, so not so great. The other thing I didn't love about Droid Cam is um, there is a free and premium version, and the free version has very little control. All you can do is change the um, aspect ratio of the video. Um, the pro version has a zoom feature, and you can uh, play with the exposure and white balance and a number of other settings. I don't think that's the case with Erian, but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to experiment with that. And again, I'll update you all on how that works. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. If you've tried Droid Cam and had good experience with it and haven't had this battery issue, um, definitely leave a comment and let me know because it may have just been my phone that caused the problem. Although I tried it in two phones and it affected both the same way. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you've used Erian, let me know uh, in the comments as well. I'd love to hear your experience with that as I experiment with it over the next few days. So that's all I've got. Just wanted to give a quick update video. Please uh, hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream projects every weekday at 10 and 2. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online classes, workshops, and private lessons. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.